I mean, I can hear you. Testing. Testing. Not sure where my mic be. Okay. Here we go. We're a little sound conscious because we've had problems in the past. Okay, starting off our eyes and breakdown. Breakdown. Okay, so I got all this moves set up. This first it, I believe it, yeah, it's tied to it. Then we got quick slide. This one's fairly decent. The thing about Eisen that kind of, is that most of these moves have deceptively large hitboxes. So like, let me. That one's fairly decent. But then anyway, though, his third move here... Actually... You did not map those quite as you expected. Yep. This third move here... is incredible. So you see just how big the range is on that. That's how I actually like to start a lot of my combos. It's not a slow move by any means. Because hit stun... consistently. And... I believe... Which, uh, yeah, it hits Earth, too, so if the enemy's weak to Earth, which a few of the... It, it hits Earth is kind of a theme with this character. Yeah. His relationship to, uh... Edna, Edna is pretty quick. Anyway, though. The third one here, I like this move a lot, too. Sl quick slide to the side. Has big hitboxes. Can hit multiple enemies. Has the ability to poison, as we see right there. Uh, hits ice, or rather earth and water, as ice is, has been in a lot more recent Tales games. So, and it also hits what I think was Reptile and Graces. Unhappy green face. Yeah. We're gonna look at his last three physical moves here. So this is another one I like to use a lot. Like, fire, hits... It's fire pretty well. Uh, it's another slide to the side. I like to use their direction. This one. Nope. So like, doot, doot. Yeah, and then the, uh... And then this one. This one closes distance really well. Has a pretty big hitbox. And hits wind for this character is bread and butter combo. And then the la his last one here. So this is kind of a utility move. Um, it hits three times. Has pretty big range. The best thing of this move is the way to for combo. And then spells really fast. His first spell here is Air Thrust. I use for this yet. Uh, it does hit a wind weakness. It hits them for a while. Like it doesn't seem bad. It just I it's harder to find a place in this character's move set with it. Mostly because you have this right here, which to me is his best spell, especially because of its high. It has a really down which you'll support for this character here in a second and then he gets resurrection which if you aren't familiar with this game mechanics the way you change targets is you continue to hold the spell while hitting uh, left or right on the stick then his left spell is which also knocks down pretty well and hits a longer than it so much longer like when you look at how it works it's it seems like an overall better move and I, it has a more permanent spot in his arsenal for me 
and this game does have the same sort of chain into spells to reduce their cast time that most modern tales have. So that Earthquake move being all around his most powerful spell is a natural combo ender if he does a very long combo. Yeah, indefinitely. So, the basic way I kind of see that this character works is you start out with this. This is sort of your B and B opener. Uh, you tag the enemy from afar, and you can chaining it. It hits pretty hard, has a pretty fast cast. And then the second you see that you get a knockdown, which this enemy is being really stubborn about. Normally, there we go. You teleport in with Draconic Drive, and then start a combo. And so, his Draconic Drive, and, you know, you consume one soul, and you teleport in and do truckloads of damage. And that's the basic way. You kind of want to land knockdowns with this character or stun the enemy. And then you just move in and do mountains of damage. Your luck has been remarkably poor. Yeah. There we go. And that's, you know, once you get moving with that character, that's how the character is supposed to work. So, that's about it for Aizen. Aizen you might want to run through a quick, like, bread and butter combo, right? Well, I mean, that, I, you know, that general play style I kind of figured went through it. Because the B&B, &B, the B&B &B for him that I use is pretty straightforward. Just that, that, his, his uh, B and B that I have set up is so he uses this as his opener. It's the it's that move right there. I almost want to say I, it almost looks like Tom's strike, but he does that. Then he moves in with that big overhead swing, and then he just kind of slides back and forth. And of course, the combo gets long. You can very much end with those yeah. earth spikes, which will knock down and let you go back into your uh, draconic drive again. Yeah. So overhead swing, and then both the uh, both the ice move and the uh, fire and the fire slide to the left and the right. So that's about it for Aizen. Um, do you want to start going through last set? Sure thing. 